How's it going, people? Still on chapter one. Page 22. The upper city, too, fell before the victorious arms of Roman conquerors. Titus would have spared all who had not been forward in resisting the Romans and gave his orders accordingly. But his soldiers, callous to all the feelings of humanity, slaughtered the aged and sick as well as the mass of the people. The tall and most beautiful young men, however, were spared by Titus to grace his triumph at Rome. Of the rest, many above the age of 17 were sent in chains to Egypt to be disposed of as slaves. Some were reserved to be sacrificed on their amphitheaters. Others were distributed through the empire. All who survived under the age of 17 were exposed for sale. The triumphant general commanded what remained of the city to be raised to its foundation except three of the most stately towers. Uh, Mariamne, Hippocos, uh, Hippocos, uh, and Faziel. These should stand as monuments of the magnificence of the people and of his victory. A small part of the wall of the city at the west also, he commanded, should be spared as a rampart for his garrison. The other parts of the city he wished to have so effectively erased as never to be recognized to have been inhabited. The Talmud and uh, Mammon, Mammonides relate that the foundations of the temple were so removed that the site of it was plowed by uh, Terentius Rufus. Thus, our Savior predicted that. There should be left not one stone upon another. One awful occurrence is noted as transpiring during the scenes that 11,000 Jews under the guard of one Fronto, a Roman general, were owing to their own obstinacy and to the scarcity of provisions, literally starved to death. Josephus informs that 1,100,000 Jews perished in this siege of Jerusalem, that 237,000 perished in the last war in other sieges, and battles, besides multitudes who perished by famine and pestilence, making a total of at least 14,000. Some hundreds of thousands in sullen despair laid violent hands on themselves. About 97,000 were captured and dispersed relative to the two great leaders of the Jewish factions 
Simon and John, they were led to Rome to grace the triumph of Titus. After which Simon was scourged and executed as a malefactor. And John was committed for life to dungeon. Thus ended their violent contentions. And that's it for page 22. I can only handle a page at a time, sorry. Ah, to be continued. We're going to get through chapter 1 and I'm going to do something else for just a little bit and then into chapter 2 hell. I mean, the hell of chapter 2. Stay tuned. More to come.